Griswold by Sid Hoff. This is Griswold. In the far north lived a bear named Griswold. Griswold was so big, three rabbits could sit in his footprint. When he went fishing, the river only came to his knees. Other bears had no trouble going into caves to sleep. Griswold always got stuck. He had a big bottom. He had to sleep out in the open, but he didn't mind. He had a nice coat of fur to keep him warm. No other animal dared wake him. One morning, there was a loud noise in the forest. All the other bears ran away. Ooh, let's get out of here. Griswold went to see what it was. He saw men chopping down trees. Timber, they shouted. What's the big idea? asked Griswold. What are you doing to my forest? Uh, we're sorry, said the men. We have to send these logs down the river to the mill and they'll be made into paper. I can't live in a forest with no trees, said Griswold. He went to look for a new place to live. Do you know where there is a nice forest? He asked. You won't find one up here said a mountain goat. Do you know where there's a nice forest? Yeah, you won't find one here, said a prairie wolf. Do you know where there's a nice forest? He asked. Boy, are you lost, said a desert lizard. Griswold looked until he saw houses. What can I do here, he asked. You can be a bearskin rug, said some people. Come on in. And they led him into their house. Griswold lay down on the floor and people stepped all over him. Ow, I, I don't like this, said Griswold. He left the house. Griswold saw a light pole. I'll climb that tree, he said. Rear! I was here first, said the cat, and he chased Griswold away. Griswold saw a dog. Can't you read? Woof! asked the dog. He chased Griswold away too. Woof! Griswold saw people going to a dance. The people wore masks. Griswold went to the dance too. Hey, you look like a real bear, said the people. Thank you, I am. The people started to dance. Griswold started to dance too. La la la, la la la. It's time to take off our masks, said somebody. All the people took off their masks. Take off yours too, they said to Griswold. I can't, this is my real face. You don't belong here, said the people. You belong in the zoo. So Griswold went to the zoo. The bears were begging for peanuts. So Griswold begged too. Uh, could I have a peanut, please? Please don't say, stay here, said the bears. We need all the peanuts we can get. Go try the circus. So Griswold went to the circus. They put skates on him and he went plop, ow. They put him on a bicycle and he crashed. They tried to make him stand on his head. He couldn't do that either. Run away! 
I guess it takes practice, said Griswold. It sure does, said the trained bears. Griswold tried to rest. You can't park here, said a policeman. I'll find a place to park, said Griswold. He ran and ran until he came to a nice forest. I'm very glad to be here, he said, and he sniffed the, the air. We're very glad you're here too, said some hunters, and they took aim at him. Don't shoot, said a ranger. This is a national park. No hunting allowed. The hunters left. Thank you, said Griswold. Well, you'll be safe here, said the ranger. People cannot shoot animals here. They can only shoot pictures. All the people wanted to take Griswold's picture. He was the biggest bear they'd ever seen. Thanks for posing for us, they said. Don't mention it. Well, this is the life for me, said Griswold. And he was very happy. At least he was near his beloved trees. The end.